Hi there. I'm Miles Hisher from Highview Solutions, a Google Cloud premier partner and authorized reseller for Google Workspace. I'm here today with one of our software developers, Oscar Renosa, and we are pleased to present a introduction to a Google Workspace add-on we recently built called the Workspace User Detector. How are you today, Oscar? Good. Thank you for asking, Miles. Hello, everyone. Good. Excellent. So this product is available in the Google Workspace Marketplace for free. Uh, you can search for it by typing in Workspace User Detector. And this product allows you to monitor and remove inactive users in your Workspace account to save money and improve security. So a little bit about Highview really quick. Um, I mentioned we are a authorized reseller. So hundreds of companies in North America and LATAM buy their Google Workspace subscription from Highview Solutions. That includes a additional layer of support services, account management services to help you get the most out of your Google Workspace subscription. We also have a robust professional services team uh, that provides more advanced work for companies that are doing migration projects or merging accounts together. So if there's anything else you have questions about in regards to Google Workspace, please contact us. Our company mission is helping you plan for the future or building your business for tomorrow. So this is geared for IT administrators that are running a Google Workspace environment, really that has over probably 30 to 40 employees up to a few thousand. And so that's sort of the target audience today. We are gonna go through some very detailed items um, in regards to your Google Workspace account and managing a contract renewal with Google. Um, so just prefacing who this video is for. Um, let me introduce the interactive accounts problem. So almost all the Google Workspace customers we know um, struggle to manage uh, former employee data, old accounts, inactive accounts. And we've heard a lot of feedback and we do a lot of training with our customers to ensure this is not the case. Uh, but what we find is um, workspace customers are overspending. So Oscar and I analyzed 45 workspace customers. Many of these were our own resold workspace customers as well as some direct accounts that buy their licenses from, from Google directly. And we found something pretty shocking. We knew customers uh, overspent, but on average, just out of that 45, um, they were spending 30% more uh, than was necessary on their Workspace subscription just due to these inactive users they had. And we interviewed a handful of customers about why they were overspending. And here's some of the feedback. So from a retail company, uh, this guy told us, in IT, we don't want to delete data that's needed down the road. So we just save it all and spend the extra money and uh, pay the extra fees. So they just suspend the accounts and leave them there. Um, a woman at a transportation company said, look, um, we have a process for archiving old user accounts, which actually Highview provided them as part of their onboarding and training. Um, but they have a large amount of turnover and a large amount of people that start at, at any given time. And so they just don't get to it in a timely manner and it kind of loses mind share. And when they do their renewal, they always are in this position where, where they have to reduce their their, their licenses quite a bit as part of their renewal. And I'll explain why that is a very big issue in working with Google. Um, this third IT admin, this gentleman, basically just said his department finds it very manual. They have to look at multiple reports to get a true picture of user activity. And I kind of got the sense that no one wants to be the, comp the one that accidentally deletes an account of someone that's on maternity or that's taking a sabbatical uh, because it appeared inactive. So they just generally don't do a good job at managing these inactive accounts and just spend a lot more money than they need to. Um, here's why this is an issue. As aside from just spending more money during the duration of your contract, having tons of inactive users is horrible for renewing your contract with Google. And here's why. Any contract renewal or upgrade that involves you as an admin decreasing your users or licenses makes you not eligible for discounting. Um, so once again, if, if you are 
a IT director to use our customer persona example here. Let's say you have 265 ESQ standard licenses. You have a renewal coming up. You've been on a two-year great discounted plan with Google. And according to HR, you only have 160 employees. So you'll, you'll go to your Google partner like Highview or talk to your Google rep directly and say, hey, we want to renew. We want to keep our great discount. But by the way, we need to clean up our licenses and remove about 100 of these uh, you know, uh, staff accounts that we have. That's going to create a nightmare scenario for you. You're likely, as part of a standard renewal option, you're not going to get any discounting. So you went on probably a heavy discounted plan. But now when you renew, because you're seeking to remove a bunch of those licenses, Google's not going to reward you with any discounting. Furthermore, even if you look to upgrade, in this case, maybe upgrading to Enterprise Plus to get more security features, you might not even get any discounting in that scenario. Uh, or if you do, it's very, very little because you are over um, provisioned and you're spending too much money today and you're going to reduce. So Google's not going to reward you for reducing the amount of money you're spending. So um, it's a huge issue. Lots of our companies with smaller IT departments that have hundreds of employees struggle with this. And Oscar and I are tackling this with the Workspace User Detector product. So our free Workspace add-on, it provides a super easy way for admins to find inactive users and configure ongoing email alerts. So every Monday morning, you get an email um, estimating how much money you can save and a list of your inactive users. This is easy to install via the Google Workspace Marketplace, and you could sign up through our web application, and it's free. There's no charge to this. Um, I'm now going to turn it over to Oscar, who's going to give you guys a quick demo uh, of how this looks. Oscar? Thank you, Miles. I'll start by sharing my screen. So for the Workspace User Detector, we need to start by installing the Google Workspace add-on. You need to be a super admin to perform this action. Once this is done, you need to set up your account through the web application. It may take a few minutes for this to propagate and then you will be able to sign up with your super admin account. You need to accept the terms of service and then you will be presented with the list of users in your domain with some important uh, information such as the last active date, license type, the cost per year, and the email and drive usage. You can also add notes to your users in order to identify who may be on a maternity leave or special accounts that you don't want to get rid of. And you can also filter them by inactivity. Here, I'll do it with 60 days. And now you have a better view of your inactive accounts. Um, you can also take a look at the summary of your subscriptions and go to the admin console for better management. And you can subscribe to the email notifications. These are sent every Monday morning and you can add other subscribers in your domain as well. Here's uh, an example of the notification with the CSP file attached. Yeah, um, and, and what's great about this is every Monday, you'll just get a reminder and an estimate of the amount of money you can save by archiving, deleting those inactive users. So you can have it at your own discretion, but eventually that number will get big enough and you realize, oh, wow, I could save thousands of dollars a month just by cleaning up these inactive users. Let's go ahead and do it. Thank you, Miles. And uh, I think that will be it for today. Uh, have Great. it handed over to you, Miles. Great. Thanks, Oscar. Appreciate that demo. All right, everyone. That's all we have for the launch video today. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about Google Workspace or about the Workspace User Detector, contact us. Hello at highviewsolutions.com. Additional links available in the description below. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good one.